I think we agree for the most part on golf, expectations of winning first, and then we'll talk money. Uh, I gave you the scenario. Yes. He delivers. Do you extend him? Or do you look your team in the face and you say, hey, the division-winning quarterback that won us a playoff game and performed well, not like a scrub, performed right. well, we're, we're going to move on from him. We're going to cut him, save 25 mil, start the rookie quarterback that's never played a game in the NFL. Right. And we're going to upgrade our roster even more. So how? I don't know yet, but so theoretically. Here, what, what's the move here? Here's the problem that Brad has right now, and I'm curious how he handles it because you, you've seen Dave Burkett report that you know it's – there's been dialogue, which I love, by the way. Dialogue is the best thing because you can use dialogue in any way. I mean, Adam have dialogue every morning. Like, it, so Whoa, I don't know. Careful. I don't know how much. Okay, relax, relax. Bro. Dialogue. But still, like the word dialogue is so vague. So again, I, I don't know how true that is. But to speak on Jared Goff, Brad's gonna have because again, more guys are getting paid. Herbert hasn't gotten paid. Burrow hasn't gotten paid. Like as more quarterbacks get paid, like Fat Joe always says yesterday's price is not today's price so jared goff's price that we assume 40 million 45 million that's going to continue to go up would you rather pay for now, a winning quarterback or pay him early and he doesn't win so that's now that is the question that's i was question, getting to yeah. because that's the question brad's gonna have to ask is do you extend goff now or do you like I would agree? Wait for him to fit, you know, play out this season. See what kind of success not only golf has individually, but the Lions have as a team. And also, you get to see what Hendon Hooker looks like in practice, because that's a big thing. With again, and I'm not comparing Hendon specifically to Mahomes, but just to use him as an example, the whole reason why Andy Reid was even more confident in, in starting Mahomes that after that one year is yeah, this guy's well, clearly first round pick too. Well, I'm, I'm, and they traded I'm not up saying okay. Spots you're, you're, I'm talking about just the just a player a quarterback you're looking at him playing in practice he's playing well damn he looks better you know he can do things jared can't do like if hendon can display that and you like what you see in hendon hooker in my opinion yeah if you if you have a, a great team around hendon because again we always would you agree jared goff is somebody you can win with not win because of yeah always. and there's only ever five six seven guys in the league yes. at one given season okay so that are that guy yeah of course i would agree 100 percent. so if we're saying that could i argue that uh swapping golf out depending on, on now if golf plays out and wins mvp this whole thing is diminished and what if but, Hendon hooker is no better than jared goff and his peak is jared goff then, then we'll, we'll figure that out well, and then that will be factored into the conversation and also he's getting paid third round money so I'll take that twice on Sunday every day of the week. So, it, like, it, if that's the scenario, I'm cool with it. If he can just be Jared Goff, who's more mobile, getting paid a third-round contract money, yeah, sign me up. I'm cool with that.